I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Fat Joe claims he had a lot to do with Nelly and Ashanti rekindling their relationship. Of course, Remy and Pat Black Love. Uh, now, the ultimate couple was Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. Like, so, you know, not, I mean, to me, uh, greatest American ever lived is Martin Luther King. I say this every year, anytime, you know, it's the greatest. You know, anybody who could use peaceful protests, use love to overcome. You got to understand, people couldn't even get on the bus together. People couldn't even drink the same water, use the same bathrooms, segregation. You know, this man took so much uh, pain for us to live the dream, right? But then also, if we were scared for Martin, how scared was Coretta Scott King? Like being the wife, being the symbol, the emblem, you know, after she, he, she walked the street. So everybody, you know, you know, everybody say, uh, Coretta Scott King is, she the one, because it's cute to support your man, but, you know, Coretta Scott King, she put her life on the line. You know, that's as gangster as you could get. And so, you know, people get mad because what's my man, Jonathan Majors, who I do not, and I sympathize with all women for domestic but I do not believe he's guilty of that. I just don't. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Why? Because I see men, girls. I seen them. They, 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 aggressive, agitated. This, that. This man was running away from her. Maybe he grabbed his phone back and it scratched her by mistake. You know. But a guy that's getting chased down for twenty blocks, still in all. He think he looking for Coretta Scott King. He was looking for the girl for Coretta Scott King. Man, you, yeah, you got this f***ed up, bro. Yo, yo, man. Oh, he wanted her to be Coretta. Yo, man, how he slipped through the cracks? How this guy became like a mega star, like a mega, mega star? Because, man, yo, you know, Joe, you know, sometimes I say some things going to get uh, people upset on here. Because I'm just speaking uh, my subjective opinion on different things. Not chatty patty. Not chatty patty because I don't get really involved with people's shit and, and all that. But I, I, I understand I work, work for a couple of, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, I work for a couple of feathers every now and then. Khalees and Nas, of course. You know, we brought back uh, Ashanti and Nelly. They look so happily ever after. So the other day, Ashanti FaceTimed me with Nelly. They were like, hey, bro, this, this, that. And you remember they had the rumor she was pregnant. It was just a rumor. And I, I immediately told them I need 10% of this kid. Because if it wasn't for Versus, then I brought Nelly out, me against Ja Rule. That's when they saw each other and that energy connected again. That's when he said, I got to have her. Now, he was over there contemplating. He really want to go over there. But he was contemplating. And my brother Mayor was like, yo, bro, what the are you waiting for? So he goes over there and that starts the conversation. You know, somebody got to crack the ice. I don't know why they fell out, but something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> B. said Fat Joe and Lorena. I was talking about she ain't a rapper, singer, nothing like that. She a real one. <laughs> she a real one. I'm talking about Swiss and Alicia. Oh, mega power couple. Um, No matter how talented a woman could be, how incredible and special, it's even better when they got a strong man by them. Right? And vice versa. She added that thing to him that, you know, uh, he was talking to the people. 
But then he started talking to Oprah and them and the art community. You know, uh, the, the, I think that's the perfect unveiling of a famous couple. Me, I'm scared of famous chicks. I'm scared of, you know, I, you know, I know how full of shit the famous guys are. So I'm terrified of a famous chick because Lord knows, uh, Cardi B offset, you know, Cardi B and offset, you know, I mean, we had some, we got many more to come. We got, uh, we got a real famous young couple that never announced they're together. And that's why they finally still together. Cause I also think once, once you let out that, that you were such and such, everybody in your fucking business. And so like, this is why I always said reality TV is like a trap because now it don't become you and his, look, women, you know, he a fuck up ladies, you know, guys, you know, your, your girl, she might be a fuck up too, right? But now that you on TV and the whole world and your family, it might be your aunt that never get involved with your shit. She see you on TV. She hitting you up like you letting that man talk to you like that. And so everybody in your business, everybody got a conversation. Something happened that you would have normally possibly been upset, furious, but worked it out. Now it's like you got to keep it real and not work it out because I got to show uh, the Instagram and everybody that, you know, I don't give a, and it's a lot of relationships have been destroyed because of this public shit. And so got to be careful what you wish for. You're like, yo, I want to get lit. I want to go on Instagram. You know, it's cool. Uh, or you, you want to be like, like that, but you know, that's how shit and quick. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.